Alrighty, well, it looks like people are still trickling in, but we will go ahead and just do a brief introduction real quick um, while people continue to come in. And again, for anyone that's new here, um, we've got some polls, so feel free to answer those and feel free to ask any questions along the way with that questions tab in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and also one thing down in the bottom of the screen, you'll also notice the react button. So if you have any reactions for us along the way, um, we always love to see those reactions as well. But real quick, just want to introduce ourselves. I'm Coulter Robinson, Director of Business Development here at Hostfully. Um, and of course, Dipen, who we just met a moment ago, the co-founder of Lynx Automation, and then my colleague here at Hostfully, Marcos, um, who's a business development representative as well. Um, so again, thanks, gentlemen, for, for taking the time to join us here today. And real quick, we're just going to dive into a brief background for anyone who's not familiar with Hostfully. Uh, we might have a lot of people who this is another webinar that you've joined with us. So for those who are uh, are dedicated customers and or just dedicated watchers of our webinars, um, give us a, a brief moment here to just introduce ourselves to everyone else. But Hostfully is a vacation rental management software um, aimed at optimizing day-to-day -day operations for property managers, hopefully driving more five-star reviews. And we actually offer two products here at Hostfully. Our property management platform, which is a tip-to-tail solution to really manage your overall day-to-day -day operations. Um, this includes a variety of features that I'm going to touch on here in a moment. But I also want to point out we offer a digital guidebook platform as well. Um, the digital guidebook platform, that's our guest-facing product to enhance the guest experience, but also help to enhance your experience as the property manager. These do integrate with one another. Um, and of course, because of our integration with Lynx as well, um, there's ways to automate both your you know, guest experience and smart lock keyless entry devices into both of our products here also. Um, but real quick, and I will mention as well, these are standalone products, so they integrate, but if you need to use them independent of one another, you've got that option. The property management platform, this is what I mentioned is your tip to tail solution for streamlining your day to day operations. This is going to include a variety of features, whether it's channel management being one of those critical features, making sure that all of your reservations are flowing into a centralized calendar. You don't have to get worry about getting duplicate reservations. It's also going to allow you to manage all of your, you know, things like pricing management content management, photos, descriptions, um, amenities. In terms of bookings, you're gonna be able to drive direct reservations. We offer an out of the box website. We can integrate into your existing website. And like I mentioned earlier, you've got the channel management as well. Um, we've got a bookings pipeline. This is unique to our software, allows you to manage and view your bookings from a unique life cycle management view. But of course, we've got the traditional calendar as well where all of your reservations are gonna flow into. So you've got two different options to view and to manage those bookings. In terms of managing the guest experience, we've got automated messaging. Um, so of course, you can manage all of that messaging right from Hostfully. We've got a unified inbox, a centralized inbox. Um, and then of course, like I mentioned earlier, the digital guidebooks, which I'll touch on in a moment, which can incorporate some of that as well. And then reporting, variety of reports. All of our reports are gonna be customizable for you. You can automate these reports. We also integrate with tools like QuickBooks to help you streamline that accounting process as well. We've got daily, weekly, monthly reports. We've got owner financial statements and owner portal. So a wide variety of things there to help you manage those owners, but also the accounting side of things. And then in terms of our guidebooks, like I mentioned, this is the guest facing platform that we offer. Guidebooks are simply link based. So all you need to do is send a link to all of your guests. They have access to that guidebook across any of their devices, phone, computer, so they can easily populate it. It also comes with a QR code functionality. So myself as a host, I find oftentimes people might not read all of their emails fully. In order to get guests to interact with this guidebook, if they miss the link in their email correspondence, I put QR codes on small little rack cards within the property, right? When they get into the home, they can hover over that QR code, pull it up on their device that way as well. I'm um, in digital guidebooks. It gives the guests things like local recommendations, restaurants, activities, things to do within your area. That way they don't have to Google and look up everything to do. It's got a marketplace feature. If you have upsell products or services, they can purchase those through the marketplace, helps drive more revenue for your side. 
And then also it's got all their generic arrival departure information, help make sure that it's an easy check-in and check-out process. They don't have to follow up with you for those questions. This also gives them the ability, if you're using our property management system and you're using links for smart home automation, those unique door codes can flow from our software into the guidebooks, of course, originating from links as well. Um, so just another great feature. And then a wide variety of other capabilities. Um, we've got a new AI trip planner feature, which we're excited about. And then we've also got uh, uh, integration with Viator. Um, so if you're familiar with Viator, TripAdvisor subsidiary, folks can go ahead and purchase activities or tickets within Viator. You're going to get an 8% commission kickback on that. So again, guest facing product. We just want to enhance that guest experience, drive you more five-star reviews. So if you've got any questions on this, feel free to go to our website, hostly.com. Um, and feel free to reach out to myself or Marcos as well for more info. And then finally, just want to point out real quick here, we've got a variety of reports and webinars on our website as well. So if you want to go to hostly.com, we've done a wide variety of these webinars. We've also developed a ton of reports industry related to the vacation rental industry. So feel free to go to hostly.com, check those out. Just a great learning experience for all of you as well. And myself, I've always got a variety of things to take away from that to apply to my business also. But with that being said, I'm going to hand it off to Dipen here. Um, with links, the reason we're all here. So dip in, feel free to go take it from here. And uh, again, if anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to throw those in the questions tab. We'll get those answered along the way. But dip in, the floor is yours. Yeah, well, thank you, Coulter. Thanks for having me once again. And uh, thanks everybody yeah. for joining us this afternoon. I know it's the first week after Memorial Day weekend for people in US and that's like an official kickoff to a summer season. And hopefully the summer bookings are from my year, from all the reports that this summer is back to 2019 levels. Some data suggesting that, you know, the occupancies and the travel trends are even surpassing 2019. The edge traffic has definitely surpassed 2019. So we can safely say we are done and we're back into the same place we were in uh, pre-COVID levels. Uh, once again, introducing myself, uh, my name is The Pain. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of a company called Lynx. We are a marketplace leader uh, where we do smart home automation for vacation rentals. Uh, what that means is our, we work with 400 plus different smart devices from, you know, predominantly smart locks for our self check-in. But as you can see on the screen, we work with many different smart devices uh, like you know, thermostats and noise sensors and leak sensors and garage doors, smoke sensors and everything. And now with iot technology the homes are getting more smarter and there are so many devices that are already established in the home what we do is we integrate with all of these devices and connect it back to your reservation and make a seamless guest experience um, i'm an engineer myself started this company six seven years ago uh, i had my own properties that i was managing as a you know property manager on airbnb and i was a software engineer so i'm like hey why can't i do this and from there on you know we grew and we you know became the market leaders in the space uh, where we work with all major property managers uh, across the globe and feel free to ask questions uh in the chat uh we will i'll look into the chat every now and then if not we will cover in a detailed q a session i don't want to bore you a lot so i'm going to go through a few basic content uh initially and then we'll leave a lot of time to go or a Q&A because to me, that's what the real fun is. Uh, and you can bring in as much technical questions as you want. Uh, I'm a technical founder, so I can dive deep into it. Um, predominantly a core product revolves around keyless access. Uh, you might all have used some sort of smart locks, uh, Yale, Schlage, Quickset, August, Kaba, you name it and we connect with every one of them. Uh, so what we do is we are integrated with, you know, hostfully. So the moment there is a reservation hostfully, we get that information real time. We know who the guest is, when they're coming in, what's the check-in time and date, and what is the lock that is there on the property. We automatically create a unique code, which is, you know, four-digit code. We typically do a last four digits of the guest's phone number, so it's easy for them to remember, and we can send that access code back to them uh, via hostfully or via text message or email. There are multiple ways you can communicate that information back to them, back into the guidebook of hostfully as well. So it's completely integrated. So your guest knows what the code is. Um, the beauty of links and why we've been so successful 
is one we've integrated with all different smart devices. Uh, I would say 95% of all major log brands in the you know, world uh, are compatible to us. But on top of that, what we've done with our software is we've built a unique offline mode where you know, even if your devices go offline, there's an internet outage or a power outage, uh, it would not create an impact to your guest. Uh, we've done software in such a way that the codes are stored locally and reactivate at check-in time and deactivate at checkout time. Uh, I'll go jump into more about this as we you know, march along, but that's our core product. And then every other smart device is built around access and keyless entry. But our access is not just limited to your you know, front door. We do operate a lot of into multifamily. We operate into hotel space, uh, big buildings, commercial buildings. So we control access across various door types. Uh, some of the examples are you know, common entrance like lobby doors or pool doors, if you have that. Or if you're an HOA community uh, association, we control a lot of common elements, uh, gym doors and so on. We can control elevators, intercom, video intercoms, um, garage doors, commercial garage doors, parking lots. We control a lot of different devices and make it a seamless experience for your guests, right? So whatever they need to access, they can do it using one button or one code from check-in to check-out. Um, we have a lot of customers that have pools uh, on their building and they want the guests to hang out at the pool before check-in or post-checkout and we can enable the access in certain fashion that way. Uh, a lot of our customers come to us saying, hey, if they book a rental, they have access to the garage so they can you know, park their car and they want the same code to work in the garage from check-in to check-out. But they don't want the cars to be able to enter the garage before check-in and check-out. Uh, so we do all of that in a very seamless fashion um, across different technologies. It could be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Z-Wave, Zigbee, Algorithm. I can dive deep into all of those technologies. But our job is to make sure that the experience is seamless and frictionless, and you don't need to worry about the technology that's under the hood. Apart from locks, we work with other smart devices, close to 300 plus smart devices. Some of the popular categories uh, in vacation rentals are thermostats, temperature management, uh, where we can work with many different vendors like Honeywell, Ecobee, Nest, StepPro. Um, we go really deep into this. So if you have split ACs, if you have baseboard heating, if you have really old school type thermostats, we pretty much work with majority of them and can connect it automatically to the platform. Um, there's a poll question on your screen. Feel free to answer. Uh, that gives uh, me a little bit of more idea and color of what kind of smart devices you're familiar with. Um, a good quick example of thermostats would be, you know, if you have like a Nest or a Honeywell, you can set in check-in temperature. And we know like, you know, when the guest is gonna check in, we can set up rules that in summer, I want the check-in temperature to be 68 degrees Fahrenheit. In winter, I want the check-in temperature to be, you know, 65 or 62 automatically the software will make sure the room or the unit or the house is at that temperature at check-in. When it's checkout time, you know, it will go in power saving mode. You can set up smart rules to, you know, keep the guests in a certain band. So if you want to restrict the guests in summer months between 60 to 85, and in winter months, you want to restrict them between 50 to 80, 75, you can create those, you know, tolerance bands as well. On top of that, I think a lot of our Beach side communities and property managers appreciate that if the air condition is being overloaded, we send out maintenance alert. So you can proactively take care of those HVACs and your air conditions before they blow out. Because if you have a blown out air condition in Florida or in Hawaii, then the guest is going to be out and you're not going to have that revenue come in. So that proactiveness around HVACs also is a huge plus. With energy costs going up, we see typical savings of 15 to 20% on your energy cost. Um, touching upon some other devices, we do leak sensors, we do smoke detectors, noise sensors, light bulbs. Uh, we're coming up with pool, so you're, you can control and automate your pool heat. Uh, you can upsell the pool heat as well, especially applicable in states like Arizona, Florida, um, to a certain extent Hawaii as well, and many other places. 
where they do sell you know pool with heated pools and you can control that and make sure that your heat is not being over abused or used uh, so we work with a lot of different devices and you can bring in a seamless experience for your guests by connecting all these devices i want to also make sure that everybody understands over here we don't manufacture any of these devices we work with the best manufacturers out there um, for us it's like why reinvent the wheel when it's already been made so we work with the top manufacturers in locks like yale and schlage in thermostats ecobee honeywell you know leak sensors like samsung salt pro and so on so we work with the majority of uh, big manufacturers in their category and we bring all of these devices into a complete automated form uh, i'm going to quickly check if there's a question uh, so far, good. And Coulter and Marcos can also help me if there's any questions that pop along, but I encourage you guys to make this more interactive and, you know, I'm sure there are some burning questions. Please type it away uh, so we can answer some of them. Uh, what we also have introduced uh, and has been very, very popular is your own branded app. Uh, it's a guest app, again, very similar to Hostfully. Uh, you don't have to download, you don't have to go to a Play Store or iTunes to download an app. It's a unique link and your guests can open that link on any phone, any tablet, um, anything that you want. Uh, and that app can be completely white label. Uh, some of the screenshots you can see that you can change the colors to your brand colors. You can update the background image. You can change the logo to your company. I have a lot of customers who tell me that they don't realize that they're staying with you as a property manager. Most of their guests feels like they're staying in an Airbnb and we all want to change that. Your brand is very important and you want your guests to know that they're not staying with Airbnb, but they're staying with, you know, XYZ vacation rental. Uh, so a lot of our customers use this. It's a very quick 10, 15 minute setup where you can pick your colors. You can put your brand colors in it. And you can allow, the most important part is you can allow your guests to control the smart devices through it. Um, you can allow them lock button or you can show them the code over there. They can press a button and open and close the door. They can go to temperature management and control the temperature. I know a lot of our customers on... Looks like Dipen might have uh, lost connection here for a moment. So we'll give him a moment to jump back in. Are you seeing that same thing, Marcus? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I we'll as, give him, as soon as Dipen. We'll give him a second. Great. And as soon as Dipen comes back, um, I'm going to ask Logan questions uh, about if they support um, Elfi brand locks. So as soon as Dipen's right. back, um, we can ask that, that, that question to him. And also if like anyone has any additional question, uh, feel free to send it on the, on the question side. And also in the questions, I pop the link to a uh, hostfully site as well. Perfect. And it looks like we've got Deepen back here. Hey, Deepen, can, can you hear, us? hear me? We've, we've yeah. got you back. Okay, perfect. Absolutely. I have no idea what happened, but the whole, you know, thing just reloaded and kicked me out. So. Something Don't worry, that's like not the first that time much. that's happened. Oh, well. <laughs> and and deep end, we've just got a question in the, uh, yeah. the questions chat there for you if you're seeing that. Uh, hold on, it's still loading on my side because this whole thing came. If you want to read the question, I can answer it. Yeah, it, Logan is asking, do you support UFI brand locks? E U F Y. Good question. I'm familiar with the lock brand. Uh, unfortunately, we don't support that. Um, we don't see that many people having that lock, uh, very low market share. We typically work with market leaders in the space, right, that have a track record of, you know, working and manufacturing locks for 10, 20 years. There are a lot of locks that have come in the market from Chinese manufacturer as well as some American who are very early stage. We keep a very close eye with them to see how they're doing. Um, I know creating a lock is, seems easy, but it's a very difficult business and most lock companies don't survive uh, more than a few years, uh, especially COVID made a big dent into that space. 
So we kind of stick and I would highly recommend you guys as well as you guys are making decisions uh, on purchasing locks uh, to stick with non-proprietary big lock manufacturers because you'll have warranty. Their software will be integrated with many third parties like ourselves and others. Um, the ecosystem is fairly mature. The supply chain is fairly mature. I know a lot of lock manufacturers like Eufy had a lot of trouble um, last year because the supply chain was so bad and chip manufacturing was so difficult. They didn't have things. So answering your question, we don't at this moment. Uh, we're keeping a close eye on other manufacturers as well. As demand picks up, we will be the first one to integrate with them. Um, I'm going to go a little bit back because I don't know when I got kicked out and so on. So I'm going to go back to the slide where I was talking about this guest web app. Um, it's a unique link. It's a web app. You don't have to go to Play Store or iTunes uh, to download it. Your guests can just get a link and they can open on their phone browser. And it's completely white label, which means your logo, your colors, your brand will be in front of them. Uh, and you can quickly, in 10, 15 minutes, design this, customize it the way you want it. Uh, and you can put in you know, guidebooks from Hostfully, uh, smart locks from links, right? That the guests can open and close the door. They can adjust the temperature. Um, I was giving an example of ski resorts where, you know, guests come in all day long skiing and they just want to, you know, on their way back to the room, they just want to yank up the heat at the unit. They can just do that. So when they enter their unit, it's nice, warm and toasty for them. Um, a lot of smart devices that can be automated and controlled and that power can be given to the guest. So the guest can control it from check-in to check-out. The other added advantage of this is the guest, the primary guest, can share the access of all these devices and information with the other people in the party. Maybe they're, you know, they're doing a reunion or they're traveling with their family. The husband can share the access with the wife, and that way everybody can control the devices. The kids can control the devices, and in return, you as a property manager get direct information of not only just the primary guest, but all the people in the party. And you can use that into your direct marketing engine. Uh, very helpful, very informative, and it enhances the guest experience completely. I want to take a moment and go through the guest journey and show you how we enhance the whole guest experience. That's the central topic of today's webinar. Um, we are all familiar with, I'll start with, you know, guest booking confirmation, which is at the 12 o'clock mark. Moment the guest books, the journey starts, right? The guest journey starts. And the whole guest journey is multiple points where you have an opportunity to not only just impress, get better reviews, but also to generate revenue. Uh, so moment a guest books the confirmation, uh, we know that a reservation is booked. We know which unit they're staying, what's a check-in, what's a check-out. We create an access code, which is time sensitive, and we send it to them. They use the email SMS link through the guest portal to the white label web app. And now they have all the information about the property, anything surrounded. If you have hostfully integrations with it, they can you know, buy wider, you know tickets and other things that they can buy through that platform. Uh, but you've already started the journey with the guest. It's time for upsells and generating new revenue. Uh, before check-ins, you can easily offer complete early check-ins. Uh, it's been very popular on our platform. Most of our customers use the early check-in because it's fully automated and you can monetize it. You can offer early check-ins in, and please go ahead and answer that question uh, that's come up as a poll on your screen. Uh, I think there's a lot of money potential that's left on the table where you can charge early check-ins depending on your property. Uh, a lot of people have a high willingness to pay for an early check-in, especially this traveling with a bigger group or a family. And with our platform, it becomes just completely automated. You don't have to do anything. You just have to set rules. You can say, hey, I want to offer two-hour early check-in for $40, or you, I want to offer a fixed four-hour early check-in for $100. You can set up the pricing. You can set up everything. And the moment the property is ready, your inspectors, your cleaners mark the property is ready, that early check-in gets activated and is upsold to the guest. The guest can pay for it. And once they pay and they get the early check-in, the codes automatically adjust for an early check-in time. You can go into our system and see the reports. And typically a 50 unit customer we've seen in Florida uh, generates close to $2,000 as early check-ins uh, 
just in off season in peak season that goes to almost five thousand dollars in a month time frame uh and then just early check-ins you can same do with checkout as well but i'll walk through the whole process uh once an early check-in is offered and they accept it they pay for it the code starts working um earlier they can get into the unit sooner uh moment they open the door the first time they open the door we know the guest has arrived that's a valuable piece of information you can automate rules to send out messages to them, welcoming them. You can turn on the lights, turn on the TVs, uh, turn on some music, right? To make the whole experience wonderful. The temperature is already preset to 68 degrees. And you can just shout a simple message like, hey, Mr. Smith, welcome to Beachside Bungalow. Your Wi-Fi is this. Now you might have given Wi-Fi in guidebooks and through emails and through all the other places, but moment they enter the door, that's the first thing they look for is Wi-Fi. So small pieces of information, knowing and being along with them in their digital guest journey makes a whole experience elevated. While they're in the state, depending on the state type, you can upsell gap nights, or you can automate the messages to fill in a gap. Uh, if there's a gap between two stays, you can offer the night, additional night for a discount. Uh, you can offer mid stay you know, cleaning, if that's what, you know, if you have week long rentals, you can upsell golf carts and you can, we have a customized, you know, package where you can upload your price menu and you can upload what you're looking to upsell uh, from kayaks or bike rentals to golf carts. It's up to you. And it's amazing. Now, you know, when they're coming in, when they're going out, you can collect all that data and say, what's my optimum time for upsell timing and information is the key where you're not too much intrusive and everything is automated and you can upsell all of those things to them. Uh, when it's time for checkout, you can remind them on the day of checkout that, hey, today is checkout. When they check out and they press the you know door code and they close it, we know that they have checked out. We automatically send a trigger to the housekeeper that, hey, Mr. Smith in Beachside Bungalow has checked out. And now it's your housekeeper's turn to go open the door. When the housekeeper goes, every housekeeper or every employee of yours will have their own unique access code or access link. They open the door. We know that they have arrived at XYZ time. You can keep a close monitor on your staff who's servicing your property that, hey, the housekeeper came in at 11 o'clock. It took them an hour and a half to clean the door, clean the unit. And when they close the door, we mark that the unit is done. We mark the unit is clean and you can send a trigger to your you know, inspector that, hey, this house is being cleaned by a housekeeper. Inspector, it's your turn to go and open the door and inspect the unit. Once the inspector does the same and they close the door, it automatically marks the property as ready. The room is ready for an early check-in and it will automatically send the next guest the early check-in offer. And all of this is completely automated, 100%. You just have to set up the workflow and rules and then let it do its magic. Um, your housekeepers, your inspectors, your maintenance people, all have to do is just enter the code to open and close the doors, signifying that the job starts and the job is done. We have some advanced property managers who have used this data to create invoicing system. So they pay their hourly housekeepers according to when they clock in by opening the door and when they clock out by closing the door. Uh, so a lot of automations can be built and our system is completely API webhook driven, which means you can connect it to your own third party apps that you might be using uh, or bring it back into hostfully and you know use it as your PMS system uh, to automate other things as well. Uh, Coulter, Marcos, any questions that are popping up or we can take that later on? Not looking so right now, uh, Deep End. Okay. So we'll keep going. We'll, we'll notify you if anything pops up here. Got it. Um, there are a lot of templates that you can build uh, that can send automated messages, alert inspectors, alert housekeepers, the workflows. Uh, there are a lot of smart rules. So workflows in our world is when some action happens, you alert some employee or a guest or a vendor or a maintenance person. That's a workflow. And a smart rule is when some action happens, some trigger action happens, you automatically give that alert to a device, right? When the lock is open, turn on the light. That's a smart rule. When the noise is too high, right? When you're monitoring the noise, when the noise is too high, send an alert to the guest that, hey, these are the rules and conditions. You need to get your voice to a certain level and send an alert to your on-site property manager, that's a workflow. And you can create these if-then scenarios as much as you want 
based on your portfolio and your guest experience. In all of this, we want to keep an eye on our revenue, right? Um, creating a seamless guest experience uh, definitely gives you high reviews, right? Which increases your, you know, ratings and hence your direct bookings. But also, you know, there are a lot of way to automate, as I explained, early check-ins, late checkouts, upsells of kayaks and bike rentals and golf cart rentals. Uh, connected back to Wireter via Hostfully, and you can see how you can offer them some experiences, some rental equipment, and generate additional revenue for yourself. There's a lot of revenue that is available for you. You have a captive audience uh, as a guest. Um, you just have to do it in a way where you're not just in their face, but you are like the digital concierge, right? Where they can reach out to you easily if you want, and you're offering them all these technology and tools that they can just click if they wanted to buy something or they wanted to, you know, spend some money on their vacation with you guys. Um, we're almost coming to an end of it. I just wanted to leave a decent amount of time for Q&A. Um, I just want to leave some contact information. Uh, if you want to go check out, there's a lot of blogs, a uh, lot of material on our website, uh, some case studies with us and Hostfully. We have a lot of common customers. Uh, would love to help every one of you out there. Uh, on our website, you will also find a lot of material, blog articles about what's the best smart locks to select uh, based on you know manufacturer, or if you have all weird kind of doors or you know dead bolts, Moti's lock, lever locks, uh, invisible door locks. Uh, there are a lot of different lock types, uh, and how do you go about selecting that? Uh, or you can reach out to us, and one of our team members can happily you know guide you to say which locks would be best for you guys. Um, the other thing that a lot of our customers do is we are a one-stop shop where you can buy all these devices through us. You can go on Amazon and buy it. Uh, we, you can buy it through us. We don't make any money additional through this. Uh, we are completely neutral, but a lot of our customers prefer that service where everything where we send them is pre-programmed. It's you know already coming with the label with your information of your unit. So when they buy through us, they don't need to get a specialist to set it up. They can just get it. It comes pre-programmed, ready to be deployed. You just open the box, you know, install the lock or thermostat on the unit. It already has the Wi-Fi information. It already connects to everything. You power it up. It connects to your host fully or your PMS, and everything is good to go. So we are a one-stop shop for buying any of these equipment, automating software solution, as well as if you have bigger projects, we have our own installed team that will come and do installations for you as well. Uh, with that, I will leave this information, our website. Just keep in mind, it's not com, it's .co, www.getlinks.co, and you can email uh, at sales at getlinks.co as well. And with that, I will go back to some questions. And Coulter Marcos, uh, one question I see is which locks, a lot of people have a lot of questions about locks, um, which locks, um, is you know your recommendation that's like the number one question uh in my world I, I can't say just one lock right uh it, it depends on your situation uh at least for us yale and schlage have been the top manufacturers by far uh i would recommend yale deadbolt um yale yrd216 uh, go for the push button over touchscreen. Touchscreen looks sexier, but it gets scratched up. People don't know how to use it. A lot of people, you know, tap it with their rings and they get all beaten up. Uh, I would prefer push button. So people of certain age can use it. Kids can use it. People using gloves in ski resorts can use it. People coming out of a pool with wet hands can use it. Um, it also allows, you know, if you're an ADA compliant uh, unit, uh, people with you know disability and you know blindness, uh, they all can use push buttons. I would recommend that over touchscreen. Um, if you're on beach side, uh, I would recommend a marine grade finish of the Yale lock. It's a special finish it, that may not be available easily on retail outlets like Amazon and Home Depot. Uh, you can work with us and we can get you marine grade. It's special coated inside and out that protects the lock against the corrosive environment of the beach. 
uh, the salty air, the humidity, and so on. I would stay away a little bit from Quickset. I know Quickset is popular. Um, it works, and we work with them. It's just the cheaper product, and you get what you get with the cheaper product. It's a little bit more plastic than metal, so it will last a year or two and break it off. Um, Schlage and Code is a very popular lock in Airbnb and VRBO community. It's a great lock because it's a direct Wi-Fi lock. Uh, doesn't have any additional devices. However, I would say keep in mind that any direct Wi-Fi device is going to be prone to a lot of battery drainage. Think about your laptop, your phone. If it's constantly on Wi-Fi, it drains battery, uh, and then you'll have to change a lot of battery with Schlage and Core. Um, if you're looking to go down the path of complete smart home automation, um, I would recommend a Samsung Hub. Samsung Z-Wave Hub is a very popular one. Samsung is a big manufacturer and a big ecosystem, super reliable. Um, you can connect your year locks through Samsung, um, and you can add the same hub. You can connect TV, connect you know, leak sensors, noise sensors, and other things as well. So if you're looking to build that whole entire suite of smart solution, then it's worth looking at Samsung SmartThings Z-Wave Hub as well. Uh, there are many other options out there, but I just wanted to point out when people ask me the question, like, hey, which is the you know, most famous lock or which lock would you recommend? As I mentioned earlier, uh, I would stay away from all these newer lock manufacturers. I would stay away from anybody. Companies would say like, oh, we can integrate with any of the locks. Um, we've spent a lot of time directly integrating. We don't use any third-party tools in between, or we don't use any aggregators. We have direct relationship with Schla, GL, Amazon, Google, Nest. We build that direct integration. And you know, if you've used Hostfully as well, you know how much direct integration makes a world of difference in terms of reliability, in terms of automation. Um, I would stay away from anybody who doesn't have a direct integration with all these devices. I'll take a pause and see if Coulter and Marcos can have more questions on my way. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a couple of questions here. One of the questions is some phones don't work in our area. And also if the power goes out, the cell tower is out temporarily. What would happen in that case? So perfect. That's a great question. Uh, we work completely in an offline mode, so you don't have to worry. Um, we What we do is like, let's say we got a reservation today for Christmas weekend, we will put that code in the lock today with an activation of Christmas date, right? For check-in on 24th of December and a checkout at, let's say, you know, 31st or 1st of 10 a.m. We do that today. So I tell this in a very simple language. We do our homework the day we get the homework. Other people do their homework when it's a deadline. And we all know what happens when you do your homework at the deadline. So then when we do our homework, the code is in the lock. Everything is in the device. The tower could have a problem. You could have hurricanes. You could have power outage. It doesn't make a difference. The lock is battery operated. As long as there's battery in it and there's power in it, you're good to go. The guests will arrive, they'll open the door, and they'll do it. And in our, in our portal, when you use our portal, you will see. You can go to any future date in our portal and see, like, okay, on July 4th, I'm going to have, what, 15 check-ins? Okay. Are all the codes for 15 check-ins in the lock? And it will show you, yes, it is. You don't have to worry about anything. So you know in future that everything is in the system. It's in the locks. So you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about cell phone towers and outage. And in my opinion, there are some companies who do cell phone based, uh, cell tower based hubs. I think it's completely obsolete. I mean, we offer them. If you need it, we can provide it. We're compatible to it. But in my technical opinion, it's not needed. It's an overkill. There's no need to connect to a cell phone tower. You have everybody has Wi Fi, you can connect to the Wi Fi. And even if your Wi Fi goes out, not a big deal. And many times you have cell tower outages in the islands, in the mountains, uh, where I's and at and are notorious about it. So I don't see a need for it. If you need it, we can provide it, we use it, but it's an overkill. Perfect, that's great. Um, and another question here, can you say something about cost if you have 10 properties, if the same property is listed on Airbnb and VRBO, do we have to pay for two properties or one since it is the same property? Our pricing is pretty much, you know, you can list it as many places as you want. Uh, we just charge monthly per unit per month. Uh, 
so you can reach out to a sales team depending on what you're looking to do and what level you are in terms of volume. Uh, they can provide you a pricing plan, uh, typical pricing, you know, depending, we offer a lot of products and services. So it's hard to give one price, but to give you a range, the price would be somewhere between 10 to $20 per unit per month. I Wonderful. see a question. I'm going to take it up at random and you can jump in through. Do you work with Yale Assure 2 Wi-Fi? Yes, we work with Yale Assure 2 Wi-Fi. Um, as I said, most Yale locks, every Yale lock, that smart lock, we work with them. Even the newest one with the extensive Assure 2 series, we work with all of them. Um, go ahead, Coulter and Marcos, if you want to help me with a few of the questions. Yeah, absolutely. There's another over. one here. How much is enterprise license for properties? and uh they joined late so they just want to um, right just the same product. answer i gave right now um pricing depends on how many different products and bundles you want to create um it's very a la carte or you can do an all you can eat pricing as well but to give you a range it will be somewhere between 10 to 20 dollars per unit per month or per house per month perfect and then it looks like got a question here and I don't know if you have insider data into this as to how many of your customers are using a property management software as well. How many of our customers use a property management software? I would say almost 80 to 90% use a property management software, a PMS software. Um, we do have a lot of customers that are direct Airbnb, VRBO. Uh, we do work with a lot of HOA communities. So we do work with entire buildings um, and what happens is the building can assign each owner or each rental manager their own logins and they can connect it to their PMS system uh, or they can connect it to their individual Airbnb, VRB or other calendars that they have. Um, so a lot of HOAs uh, like that, they want to give control to their you know individuals and the unit owners also have been in a constant friction with the homeowner association uh, around access so this way you know it creates a win-win uh, we have a very specialized uh, software for HOAs uh, so if you are running into some HOAs and you want the HOA to cooperate uh, please reach out to us we can create an absolute win-win situation for you as well as the HOA perfect and then it looks like we've got one more question here um, do you have battery reporting so we know if a device is low on battery yeah Absolutely. You will see real time battery information uh, by the minute uh, by like 94 percent, 90 percent, 60 percent. And what we do is, again, you don't have to come and see it. As I tell people that you can operate everything without even logging into our system. Right. You don't have to babysit our system. Uh, battery, if it goes low, it will send out an alert. You can assign a maintenance group or a maintenance person to each unit. So the alert goes to that typical group or the person. If the battery goes critically low, which we define as 10%, that means it's critical, we will send out an alert to that maintenance team or person every goddamn day in the morning that, hey, it's critical, you need to change the battery. Uh, so as much as you wanna be on top of it, we want our software to be top of it as well. Uh, so we don't have this issue where there is no battery and you know we create a panic situation. Fantastic. And then it looks like one more question here, Deep End, just looks like it's circling back to pricing um, and whether they're paying on per device or if they also are paying per booking channel that they are using as well. Right. So it's one flat price. You can connect to as many systems as you want. You can connect to Airbnb, VRBO, to uh, hostfully PMS. Um, we just charge per, you know, per unit on our platform. Uh, you can feed manually, automatically through calendar sync, as many reservation platforms you want to do. Um, I, I see some pricing questions and I always, yeah, pricing is near and dear. As a founder and business owner, I get the pricing question all the time. And I'm very cautious about what we spend. Um, when I was running a property management, right, when I started this company, uh, yes, I wanted to save every dollar. But as I grew, I understood that, you know, the, what you pay is what you get. Um, in our world, we may not be the cheapest. We don't want to be the cheapest because when you do cheap pricing, you cannot provide the same quality support. Like for us, we provide seven day phone support, right? It's not just, you can call us, you can set up video calls with us. You can do live chat with us. 
we'll help you set up the logs. We want to be your partner. Uh, we're not just like, hey, give me your money and automate everything and don't you know, reach out to us. Uh, we have onboarding specialists. If you have some you know, questions, how to onboard things. Uh, and I would say that goes a long way. Building in, especially in our industry, building that relationship, having you know, access to specialists who can troubleshoot something uh, with you live uh, goes a long way. And access in particular is very critical, right? If your door doesn't open and the guest is stuck, uh, you need to be able to call somebody to get somebody in very quickly. Um, and that, that's what makes the difference. So I do understand pricing questions, but a few dollars more can get you so much value added services that necessarily going for the cheapest option is probably not the best option. I could not agree with you more there. So I'm, I'm glad you reiterate that point. We get that question a lot here at Hostly as well. So um, I, I would reiterate that also. Uh, uh, and if anyone question, has any, oh, yeah. The other question I get is around, you know, thermostats. Um, what's your recommendation on thermostats? Um, many times your owners, and that's what the beauty is, right? Uh, with our platform, that if your homeowners have already had the smart devices, let's just reuse it. Let's not waste money of the ours and yours. Let's just reuse what they have. We just need to onboard it on our platform and that's it. What we call it as a do it yourself, your DYOD, which is bring your own device. Um, so if your homeowner has a Nest, has an Ecobee or a Honeywell, all works good. Um, if you ask my recommendation of what thermostats we recommend, uh, Honeywell seems to be a very good choice uh, because Honeywell has been a pioneer in thermostat and that HVAC industry. Um, they have right price point product with commercial warranties of five years plus. They have advanced you know, wiring setups. So if you have a complicated two heat, one cool system, or you have one furnace and one, you know, something else. If you have a complicated HVAC, it can take in all different kinds of wiring. It can even work with some, you know, baseboard heatings and so on. Um, so Honeywell is our most popular thermostat out there um, commercially as well. Uh, but Ecobee is equally fine. Nest is fine as well. Nest has been, you know, a Google product. So a lot of people are used to Nest. Uh, every, everything works fine with us, but I would recommend Honeywell if you're just in the market to buy a new thermostat. Perfect. And it looks like that's all the questions that have been submitted at this point. Deepen, I don't know if you want to touch on any other frequently asked questions that people might not be thinking of, or if you feel like we've got most of those answered here. Uh, no, my closing thoughts. Uh, thank you again for joining this afternoon. Uh, hopefully this was educational. Um, please check out our website uh, for additional content around locks, devices. Uh, love the open conversation and dialogue. In terms of device and integrations, I would say work with a company that understands this as your core business and is fully integrated, right? Like. If you're using Hostfully, integrated with Hostfully, and having that whole integration is so important. Yes, you can do things manually. Yes, you can do things on Excel sheet. Uh, yes, you can create a manual code. Uh, but just spending that few extra dollars and elevating that manual work uh, from PMS standpoint, from door access standpoint, will allow you to focus more on the important things in your business. Um, where it is about getting the next property or you know enhancing the guest experience, it will allow you to do more. And there is a lot of software which are fully integrated in our industry that can automate a lot of tasks for you and just enhance the guest experience, generate more revenue for you. Um, and they have great customer support and great reputation in the industry. So I would recommend working with these kind of partners uh, who are always there, who specialize in this industry, who knows this industry in and out. Absolutely. That's all I have, Halter and Marcos. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope this is super beneficial. I know for myself, who had managed properties in the past, this is information I wish I had going into it. Um, so I hope this benefits everyone else as well. And of course, he's got the uh, the website link and then the email. So if any of you wanted to reach out directly um, to their team, please feel free to get in touch. And same goes for our team as well. Reach out via our website. Uh, but we'll be following up with you all shortly here via email. So keep an eye out for that. We'll provide you with the recording to this 
um, this webinar today, as well as some of these uh, PowerPoint slides as well, if you, in case you want to refer back to it. Um, but otherwise, really appreciate you all carving out some time to join us today. Um, and Deepen, thank you so much. Again, this was just fantastic. So hopefully we can do this again here in the near future as well. Thanks, everyone. Have a